While the checkout on a membership site is a fairly automatic process, there may be times when you need to add a member and process payment information manually. Or you might want to update an existing member's paid subscription. Hi, I'm Sam Darty from Paid Memberships Pro, and I'm going to tell you the two ways that you can add or edit a member, whether it's a new member or an existing member. The first way, it's very, very simple, is to simply log out of your admin role or membership management role and check out on your site as if you were the member joining your membership program. So I'll select the enhanced level and I'm gonna complete my membership checkout for my new member. Now on my testing site, I'm actually not collecting payment, but on your real site, when your real member is checking out, you can enter your credit card, you can give them the information to either pay by check, wire transfer, however your payment gateway is set up. We'll submit and check out. And just like that, you have a new member in your membership site. And as the admin, I just did that. I checked out as if I was the new member and I was able to process their payment. Now, let's say we want to edit this new member that just came in. The member said, oh, I really love your membership. I want to upgrade but I'm not really sure how I could do this. Logging back into our admin account, we're able to go to the WordPress user list, find that new member that we just added, and we added the SAM test too. And we're gonna use this switch to plugin. This allows us to switch to the user without having their password information. And then we can navigate the front end of our site just as if the user was doing this. So we see that the user that we selected already has the enhanced membership. We're just going to upgrade them to professional. They love our stuff. They wanna check out with professional. Again, your membership site, you would be able to actually take payment for the checkout. Submit and check out. And that user is updated. So that is the easiest way to do this and the best way if you're collecting payment. We can always come back and say, switch back to Sam and that would be the admin of the site. So now I'm back on the admin and I have my WordPress admin bar available to me again. Now, let's say we're adding a new member, but we don't necessarily need to collect payment for that. We can do that as well. There's a couple different ways to navigate to add a new member. You can go up to the new on the WordPress admin bar and select member, or we can navigate to membership members and we can add new member. Here we approach the new 3.0 add member screen. From here, we can go ahead and add the new member. So let's just say that we did not know that Sam test two signed up. We can do Sam test two again, but what's really cool about the way that we can add a member via the admin is that this is also going to, if I hit create user, it's going to scan our user base and say, no, this is already an existing member. We can click here to edit this member. But let's go ahead and add a new one. We're just gonna add, we're gonna make it Sam test three. And we're gonna create the user. The user has been created. And now we're taken to our memberships panel in the edit member screen for Sam test three member. Here I can add a membership level for Sam. We'll go ahead and choose the enhance. We'll not, we're not gonna set an expiration date. Um, and we don't really need to send a change email to the member because we can email them um, their password information. So we'll go ahead and add the membership. The big thing to remember here is that there is not going to be payment taken. So there is no subscription, there's no payment, there's no order. If we go to the subscription panel, the user does not have any subscriptions. If we go to orders, the membership order is not bound. You can also still collect the company name and position for the member if you choose to do so. These are actually custom user fields on my demo site. So if you have user fields, these will show on this edit member screen on these panels. But that is simply how to add a new user. Now let's say we want to edit the user. We'll go back to our members list. I will select somebody new. We'll select Dolores. We're just going to hit edit member. It looks like Dolores has a professional membership. 
We can do a couple different things for Dolores here. We can edit the membership, setting an expiration date and changing the email. We can cancel the membership and communicate that cancellation to the email. Or we can change her membership. Let's say Dolores no longer wants the professional and has told us to make it advanced, uh, enhanced. We're able to downgrade. We can send the email communication if we would like. Um, and you also can set a level expiration date. We can change the membership. The other thing that you can do is if you are in a multiple membership per member environment, you are able to add that extra level to them with a different group level. We'll post a link below about level groups and new information on how to set up your levels if you are looking for your members to hold multiple memberships at a time. That's the easiest way and a couple different ways to add and edit members in your Paid Memberships Pro membership site. Please like and subscribe. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.